Did 2021 bring you better fortune? Well, it did for me, but... The show will begin after the intro to the show. Hi guys, this is Alex, and welcome to my second New Year's Eve show. Remember my previous New Year's Eve show, where I discussed about what went wrong in 2020? This New Year's Eve show will be highlights about 2021, because today is New Year's Eve, so... Because as usual, since 2020, I've gone into New Year's Eve shows. So, yeah. After how bad 2020 was because of the coronavirus pandemic that led me out of work between March 16th to July 16th, which was three and a half months, but I did return on July 13th, 2020. So after how bad 2020 was, we had to bounce back from that very bad year because I know how bad I know you guys how much how bad last year was if you guys remember as 2021 opened on January 1st 2021 I was so happy that I was out of 2020 because 2020 was terrible was 2021 better well 2021 was slightly better than 2020 because we had no lockdowns which was good because i'm sure most of you guys do not like being still at your homes by your governor because <sighs> you know back in april 2020 i bursted into tears because i you, how much i missed seeds of service But, 2021 sure bought us better days because what I hoped for for 2021 is a better March, a better April, and a better May after those sad months in 2020. And yes, that did happen. But we're not going to go into details on the months yet. In January... I continued my seed to service work and um, January was fine because January was best remembered for the start of WandaVision, the first of Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and WandaVision was a pretty good show. Because I did complete all the episodes. And then came February. February, well... Was not the... Well, February was not the... Not a good one for me, unfortunately. Because for three weeks... They did snow... There was terrible snowstorms that led me out of work. And... It was brutal. February 2021 was pretty much brutal, thanks to the snowstorms. But, we only had one normal week of February, and that was it. If you're wondering what that week it was, it was from February 22nd to February 26th. We only had one normal week of that month, and that was it. The rest of the month was pretty rough. But... March 2021 was better than February because in March, March was when the Falcon of, and the Winter Soldier began, and that was a good mini series on Disney Plus. I liked that mini series. And in addition, I got into into selling sealed VHS tapes.
where it began with a racer, but I sold that in December. Then came April, which was a pleasant surprise for me, because what happened in April was that I got a lot of sealed movies for the eBay store. I'm going to tell you a couple that I got on April 15th, because April 15th was probably one of the best days of that year I had from that year. On that day in 2021, I got... The sealed 1997 DVD of Homer Bound The Incredible Journey, which was the first Disney DVD ever made. The 1999 DVD of Stepmom. The Snapcase DVD of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. The 2000 DVD of, of, a, of a funny thing that happened on the way to the forum. Eight Men Out, Tales and One DVD, and a couple others. I don't feel like going through the names of each, but you get the point. Then in May, May turned out... Something was coming back from the Township of Brick. In May, the Township of Brick announced that Summerfest 2021 would be coming back. Because if you guys remember in 2020, it's the news I didn't give you guys out in 2020 when it was when Summerfest 2020 was canceled, but this year marked the return of Summerfest. Here's why. Last year in 2020, the Township of Brick tried to preserve their Summerfest concerts of 2020, but a series of COVID-19 safety measures forced them to cancel it because at that point in August 2020, the governor is only allowing only allowed 500 people and according to the mayor mayor John Ducey's Facebook session, he said he we usually have 3,000 to 7,000 people, so it was not a the 500 person limit was not a go for 2020. So, Summerfest 2020 was one of the reasons why last year sucked, so I forgot to mention that in my New Year's Eve show of 2020, but I did put that in the description. And then in June, June was when something finally came to an end. June, Brick Schools reverted back to the regular schedule for the first time since March 13th, 2020. Brick Memorial and Brick Township and pretty much most of their Brick Schools reopened their cafeterias where students can remove their masks and use social distancing. And as you guys know... I don't go to the cafeterias anymore because they are way too noisy for me nowadays and I don't feel like coping with them anymore so yeah. I was exempt. And in addition, on June 18th, 2021, I was hired as a full-time Seeds of Service worker and was nice. Though one of the saddest parts of June was that it was my last... June 15th was my last day of being on the bus. Some of you guys know I miss being on the bus. I miss those times. Then came July and July was where things started to get interesting for me. July marked the return of Movies in the Park, which is something that the Township of Brick do does. If you're wondering what Movies in the Park does, they show a movie at a certain park, and maybe one day in the summer of next year, I'll show you guys what a movie in the park looks like. They show a movie in a park, where people can bring their blankets or chairs and bug sprays recommended and they show the movie on a big inflatable screen and they show it on a projector via DVD. And not only movies in the park did return, it marked the return of Brick's Summerfest concert series, which I don't go to. And here's something crazy that happened in July. 
Bricks concert featuring Super Trains Am was postponed twice because the yes it was thwarted by thunderstorms twice. How crazy is that? It happened on July 1st and then on July 29th. And according to a Facebook post on July 1st, the Township of Brick waited 687 days since the previous Summerfest concert, but the first Summerfest concert was deemed to be Super Trains Am on July 8th, which was the Amish Outlaws, so it turned out it was 694 days since the last Summerfest concert. So that's when the Township of Brick was waiting for. And plus, I don't attend Summerfest concerts because of a national anthem, and I do not trust concerts with a national anthem, because that kind of stuff is for sports games, unfortunately. And plus, I don't like national band, local bands in New Jersey, because I prefer official, like, Led Zeppelin, a CDC, Rammstein, and a couple others. Then King August. Which August was, um, oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention in July was that July, I saw, I returned to the movie theaters for the first time since February 22nd, 2020. Because the last movie I saw in the theaters before the COVID shutdown was The Call of the Wild, which was the first movie by 20th Century Studios. The first movie I saw for the first time since then was Black Widow. Black Widow was a great way to kick off Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And plus, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is named my favorite film franchise of this year. And then came August. August was best remembered for the return of movie of the drive-in movies at Windward Beach Park because last year they did it at Drum Point Sports Complex. The drive-in movies they had were Back to the Future, Abominable, and The Avengers. They tried doing the Tom and Jerry one, but the Township of Brick canceled it due to inclement weather and that made me extremely sad because you guys know how much I love Tom and Jerry and besides the film is on HBO Max and if you guys are asking if I have HBO Max the answer is no because my dad has HBO Max but I'll let you guys know once I get HBO Max so to make up for that I saw Free Guy in the theater and Free Guy was surprisingly very well done. It was about a film. It was a video game film, which I like. And in addition, it's coming to Disney Plus on February 23rd, 2022. I thought it was not coming to Disney Plus because some 20th Century Studios movies do come on HBO Max, which is obviously Warner Media. And then came September. September was where I saw Marvel's second film of Phase 4, Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings, which was my favorite movie by Disney. But October, October was where I had the best Halloween ever, where I carved a pumpkin, um, and watched Treehouse of Terror episodes, which are Simpsons episodes, on Disney Plus, because you guys know how much I love The Simpsons. And then came November. November was where I had a way better Thanksgiving than last year. I watched the Thanksgiving Parade as usual, and then the National Dog Show. The National Dog Show was pretty good, too. 
And plus, in November, I saw Marvel's third movie of Phase 4, Eternals. Eternals was pretty good, too. Though, I know people criticize the movie for its effects, but I like it otherwise, because I don't care what reviews say, because, yeah. Most people like Marvel movies, and I do, too. And speaking of Marvel, I did see all the Marvel movies that came out this year, like Black Widow, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, Shang-Chi, Eternals, and Spider-Man No Way Home. Which, we'll get to No Way Home when we get to December. In December, December was best remembered for a better Christmas than last year because... Last year was, uh, year's Christmas was, well, I was pretty depressed in last year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, because last, ye last year's Christmas, I went through depression because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Because you guys know how bad last year was. And tw December 2021, I saw two films. One weekend, I saw... Ghostbusters Afterlife, which was better than the 2016 movie, and then on my 21st birthday, I saw Spider-Man No Way Home, and it was the best movie of 2021. I highly recommend it if you want to see it. Oh, sorry about that. It was a notif- I got a, notif a Skype notification from Dad. Sorry about that. And 2021 was best remembered for Tampa Bay's second straight Stanley Cup win. Their third Stanley Cup. Because as you guys remember, last year they won the Stanley Cup. And they won their third one by taking down the Montreal Canadiens in five games. They won the Cup on July 7th, 2021. And as I saw that, I was very happy they won the Cup. Because, as you guys know, I do like the NHL, but... Because it's very entertaining to watch. But, what was sad about 2021 was... NBCSN is shutting down, and I will have a separate video of... One last look at NBCSN before it shut down. Although one of the, one of the craziest parts of 2021 was the Capitol Hill riot on January 6th. That was so bad of the protesters to do because as you guys know, I fucking hate protests because it's not nice and it's pretty rude. I also forgot to mint oh yeah, and I, I did watch the last two miniseries, the other two miniseries that were part of Phase 4. They were Loki and, and, um, Hawkeye. Hawkeye was the first Marvel Cinematic Universe miniseries to take place at Christmas time, whereas Lethal Weapon took place at Christmas time. Same with the Family Man. If you guys asking if I liked all the Marvel miniseries like WandaVision, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki and Hawkeye, the answer was yes. I did like those miniseries because 2021 will be best remembered for the return of movies in the park, the start of Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and the return of Brick's Summerfest concert series, which I don't attend, but I just felt like mentioning it because 2021 brought us better days than 2020 because it was 
I did the right thing in 2021. I did bounce back from a terrible 2020. Although the year 2021 was notorious for variants of COVID-19 like Delta, Mu, and Omicron. Those variants are dangerous. And as you guys know, I freaking hate COVID-19 with a burning passion. I'm sick of COVID-19 nowadays. Because the scientists should stop making variants of COVID-19. Because it's bad. It damages your lungs and taste buds. But I'm not going to tell you any medical information because I don't want to get sued. And this year also bought us some new logos. Like how Warner Brothers Pictures got a new logo designed by Diva Studios and it was made on January and it was premiered on January 14th, 2021, starting with the HBO Max original movie, Locked Down. That logo replaced the 1998 logo that was used for two decades, the 2000s and the 2010s, where the 1998 logo made its first debut on Fallen. But their last, the last movies with that logo were The Witches, the 2020 movie that is an HBO Max original, and The Sun Does Not Move. Though the last Shield with, movie with the 1998 Shield design altogether was the uh, um, Godzilla vs. Kong. The final film, the closing variant, was Super Intelligence. The new 2020 long one logo also spanned a television logo, which was premiered on March 2nd, 2021. And in June, Ludwig Goransson composed the new theme for the 2021 Warner Brothers Pictures logo where it was reorchestrated from the 1999 to 2020 fanfare that debuted in Message in a Bottle. They reorchestrated the 1999 fanfare with extra build-up build up, where the opening notes are played on a guitar as opposed to a piano. Not only Warner Brothers Pictures got a new logo, oh, the, the 2021 Warner Brothers Pictures logo also replaced the prototype 2020 Warner Brothers Pictures logo that d premiered on Tenet, because that logo was obviously a placeholder for the 2021 logo. Not only Warner Brothers Pictures got a new logo, Metro Goldwyn Mayer also got a new logo. Their new logo was first uploaded to YouTube on March 8, 2021, but it was not used in theaters on until August 13th, 2021, starting with Respect. And it's a huge upgrade from the 2012 logo, but I still liked the 2012 logo. I thought that logo was good. I, as you guys know, the last movie with the 2012 MGM logo was No Time to Die. And if you guys are asking, did I see No Time to Die in theaters? Well, the answer was yes. My print had the 2021 MGM logo, whereas some select prints had the 2012 MGM logo, and that was the last movie with the 2012 MGM logo. New Line Cinema also got a new logo. Designed by Diva Studio as well. If you guys remember, the last movie with the 2011 logo was uh, Super Intelligence. The first movies with the 2021 logo was Mortal Kombat, Combat, A Bite as a Variant, and Those Who Wish Me Dead, which was where the standard version made its first appearance on. And in addition, I have gotten my fear over shots, so I'm no longer afraid of them. If you're wondering when my, where I've gotten over my fear of shots, 
it began on April 21st, where I got my first dose of the COVID-19. Sorry if I gave out that medical information, but that's what I want to know when I got over my fear of shots. So, I am no longer afraid of shots, so I've gotten over my fear and I'm no longer afraid of them because they used to scare me as a little kid. Because 2021 was remembered for me returning to the movie theaters, where it began with Black Widow. And 2022 is going to be another good year. Hopefully in 2022, we will try to make a, this, there will be, I'm sure there is a way to fight Omicron. We'll build a, I'm sure they'll make a, a fourth shot or something to fight Omicron. Because as Omicron became rampant in December, I went through depression and South Africa should be ashamed to themselves for making that variant. And here are movies I am planning to see in 2022. I'm planning to see Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness once that comes out. And Morbius, which is another film of Sony's Spider-Man universe. Although one of the craziest parts of 2021 was Brick's Summerfest concert postponing Super Trams Am twice in July due to storms. It's similar to how my Lion King 2019 driving was cancelled twice, but my feelings were opposite. Instead of going mad or depressed, I was neutral. And in fact, 2021 was even the year of change for me. I got into Patience, which I got from the game Diner Dash, which is obviously one of my favorite childhood games. I even have a one chapter of it on Windows 2000. If you want to see that, check it out and see it. Go ahead and see it if you want to relive your childhood memories. And this year was also best remembered for the start, the debut of Windows 11. Windows 11 was pretty good. It was a nice successor to Windows 10 and had a different startup sound, whereas Windows 10 used Windows Vista's startup sound. It's crazy if you ask. So 2021 was slightly better than 2020, I'm just going to say. It's an okay year for me, but it's better than 2020, at least. Because 2022 is going to be awesome. Another awesome year.
Excuse me. And now it is time to say farewell to 2021 and we are moving on to 2022. And 2022 is, is going to be good. Hopefully 2022 will not turn into 2020 because I'm sure most of you guys know you don't want a replica of 2020 because 2020 was terrible. But 2021 was better. And plus, once we do the countdown, I have two movies that will inspire it. Avengers Endgame and Star Wars A New Hope. Endgame is playing on Disney Plus. Well, for A New Hope, I'm playing on my... Using the 2004 DVD on the Asus Blu-ray drive. The Town 4 restoration didn't get a VHS release. As you guys know, it didn't get a VHS release. Whereas the theatrical and the... 97 Special Editions Restorations did. Twenty twenty one was pretty better. Overall, my favorite month of twenty twenty one will have to be April because April was one of the best months. I had in my life pretty much. So this year had better months. We had better months from the uh, quarantine months we had last year, which was March, April, and May of 2020. We had better months of those this year. Thank God. Because March 2020 was sad. March 2020, April 2021 was very devastating. And May was in the process of reopening, but it was still a bad month. June was kind of better. We did. I did have a better summer this year. So, we are moving on to the final seconds of 2021. And we will see what 2022 brings us. Hopefully 2022 will bring us good times. And if you guys are asking if I did swim in my grandparents' pool in 2021, the summer of 2021, which was June to August. Yes, I did. It has been my thing for years. And I'll be sure to do it in the summer of 2022. Because 2022 is going to be a big one. As you guys know. 2022 will have two Pixar movies. Turning Red and... Lightyear, which I do plan to see. And it'll be their... Turning Red will be their first theatrical release because, as you guys know, Sol and Luca canceled their theatrical releases and they had to be released through Disney Plus because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Because Black Widow and No Time to Die went through a hell of delays. Was pretty sad. Was pretty mad and was rough. 
So, we are 10 minutes away from 2022. We're almost 10 minutes away from 2022. Hopefully 2022 will bring us good times than 2021 did. Because bouncing back is what we did in 2021. And we ended, 2021 ended on a high note because 2021 had good movies like, oh, 2021 had good shows like Doug Days, which was one of the last shows with Ed Asner, who passed away in August of this year, so, and speaking of deaths, Betty White died recently, as you guys know, so rest in peace to her. She was going to turn 100 years old. She was three weeks shy of her 100th birthday, but she passed away at the end of this year. So, as the clock strikes 12, Iron Man will snap and the Death Star will explode. And the countdown will be on both the clock and on the uh, scenes. Hopefully Disney does not block this worldwide. Because, and speaking of Disney, they did a good job sorting Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Great job, Disney. Great job. And this year marked the return of Fall Fest, which they tried doing last year, but they couldn't due to the COVID-19 public health crisis. It was originally going to be on October 16th, but storms forced them to postpone it to October 17th. And I don't go bad over cancellations anymore. And it began with this, with 2021. Thank God. Because as you guys know, I did change this year. And I don't go bad over Summerfest concerts cancellation anymore because I have no clue what happened to me, but it could either be a change of me, but yeah. Hopefully 2022 will bring us good times, because I know 2022 will have movies in the park. Once the movies in the park is announced, Maybe I'll have a video showing you what it looks like, but, um, so, yeah. But, I'm not going to show the movie because of copyright infringement. Mint. Like, companies like Disney, Warner Brothers, Entertainment, or Viacom CBS. And Disney Plus ended this year with a bang. It ended with Star Wars The Book of, Bo of Boba Fett. The first episode was pretty good. And this year, I got into Star Wars The Mandalorian. I did watch the first two seasons, and the first two seasons were pretty good. 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 But the ending of season two 
was very, very well done. But I'm sure 2022 will bring us good times because we are 15 minutes away from what could be 2022. Hopefully it won't turn into 2020 because we don't want another replica of 2020 because 2020 was bad and crazy. But what we did this year was right. We did bounce back with no lockdowns. And there was a false alarm in a storm this year. On July 9th, there was going to be a hurricane called Hurricane Elsa. Not to be confused with the Disney princess from Frozen, but it turned out to be a false alarm. It was pretty crazy, if you ask. And the movies I saw this year were Black Widow, Free Guy, No Time to Die, Venom Let There Be Carnage, Eternals, Ghostbusters Afterlife, and Spider-Man No Way Home. Hopefully 2022 will have some good movies. I, I know for a fact for 2022 we'll have some good movies. Although, we did have one brutal month, but that's okay. Brutal months happen. Hopefully, the tw February 2022 will be better than February 2021. Because it was brutal. And this is technically my... Oh, never mind. Twenty twenty one will sure bring us better times. Sure did bring us bought us better times than twenty twenty one. Because twenty twenty one was better than 2020 at least. So... Here we go. When we get to the countdown, I'm gonna zoom the camera to the, uh, clock gadget. Yes, that clock gadget is from Windows Vista on Windows 7. If you want to get it, you'll have to download the Windows 8 gadget tools. If you want it, I'll send you the link via comments, in the comments below. And fireworks will sound in the background. If you hear any fireworks in the background, just ignore it. I know there are some people that hate fireworks. If you don't like fireworks, just lower the volume. Because 2021 was better, at least. So, we are 10 minutes away from 2022.
And what was nice about 2021 was that it was the 20th anniversary of Monsters, Inc. Um... Oh yeah, it was also the 20th anniversary of Windows XP, if you remember that operating system. A lot of things from 2001 turned 20 years old. It's crazy if you ask. Because we are 10 minutes away from what could be 2022. So, hopefully 2022 will bring us good times then, uh, even good times. Hopefully it will be even better than 2020 because they are always better years than 2020. Because 2021 was also the 20th anniversary of Shrek. So, 2022 will bring us good times than uh, 2021. So, because, yeah, this year sure bought us better times than 2020. You got this to focus. I also have the uh, wall clock tool because I remember that on Windows Vista, if you guys know. And if you got wondering if I'm going to keep it on there, the answer is yes. I am going to keep it on there because it is a pretty useful show tool for when you did New Year's Eve shows, when you had Windows Vista or Windows 7. So, we are ringing in 2022 in my channel in seven minutes. So we are almost there. Though I am happy for 2022 to be good. I do think 2022 will be good. And 2021 was also best remembered for the president of Joe Biden, who became president on January 28th, if I remember correctly. And yes, you can hear fireworks in the background, but there will be even more fireworks when the year rings in. 
And yes, 2021 did have good movies like Encanto. I watched that one on Disney Plus and that one was pretty good. So we're five minutes away from 2022. So hopefully 2022 will bring us good times than 2021 and 20 did. Well, 2021 was a was an okay year in my opinion, but it's better than at least 2021 was slightly better than 2020. So I am going to do the countdown. So, at 11.59.50.45, I'm going to turn on the speakers so you can see the Death Stars and explode and Iron Man snapping his fingers to cause a double explosion to start 2022. So, hopefully 2022 should be good because 2022 should have good movies like Morbius which I am looking forward to once I see what I'm hoping for 2022 is if I go see a movie or something I'll let you guys know if I do if I am seeing it or not and I will release my thoughts after I see the film that's what I'm going to be doing in 2022. If I go see a movie, I will uh, let you guys know. And yeah. We are three minutes away from 2021. So hopefully it'll be a good year, like 20. It'll be a good one. So, yeah. Twenty twenty one will be sort of remembered for being the uh, the return of movies in the park and uh, the return of going back to the movie theaters and uh, Joe Biden, the vaccines. And, um, the Tampa Bay winning their third Stanley Cup. And three companies getting new logos. MGM, New Line Cinema, Warner Brothers, they all got new logos. So, we will see what 2021 brings us. Because 2020 was bad. We did bounce back in 2021. And 2021 was... Was okay in my opinion. But it was better than 2020 at least. And... We are one minute away from what could be 2022. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn on my speakers, but I hope I don't get blocked by Disney. Hopefully not. I'll turn it up a little, but I will still be counting down. All right, we're 10 seconds away from what could be 2021. Ten, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. So long, 2021, and welcome, 2022! So, we're now in 2022. Let me get it to focus. Yup. Happy New Year, everyone! Happy New Year, everybody! Let's hope for 2022 to be a very good year. Sorry about that. It was some call. As you can see, we are now on the first month of 2022. Hopefully 2022 will bring us good times. This is Alexander Wormser, and I hope you have a happy, happy new year. And I'll see you in 2022.